Twala yesterday told the court that even on investigation of the accused's pocketbooks, there was no information about the shooting incident. She reiterated this under cross-examination and says there is evidence showing how the police officers just left the scene while Hantumba was lying there. Based on the video footage that was viewed, he was identified firing a gun at students who were at the Beer Street. The member did not report the incident to his commander or assist the deceased with medical assistance or any other victims that were there with medical assistance. But instead, and furthermore, there is a, a, an individual on the footage that is showing the police officers the person lying on the ground, but like the vehicle drove away. The lawyer representing accused number two, Sidris Muzotata, also rejected that his client did not report the incident. The incident which took place at Bertha Street was reported by accused number two on the iris which you testified yesterday that you don't know what it means. Do you have a comment? No, I have no comment. And uh, lastly, I put it to you that accused number two did not kill or injure the students on the 10th of March 2021 at Bethesda Street. At the Beer Street, I'm sorry, officer. Do you have any comment? As you say that he reported it through Iris report, I will say you'll have to submit uh, uh, proof regarding that. There were also claims by lawyers that the scene was contaminated. A police officer who was with the accused on the said day is expected to take the stand tomorrow. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News at the Johannesburg High Court.